Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Lecture 66, we have been discussing about the general orbit perturbation theory. In that context, we were working with uh, the oblators and pertur perturbation due to this. But before we uh, take that, we have already worked on that, but uh, perhaps one uh, aspect was left over. So, I would like to um, cover that aspect. So, sigma dot already we know that it can be written in terms of the perturbation potential. Okay. And, uh, this can be reduced to m dot here in this form. The, that means, the mean anomaly at a particular instant of time, of, uh, if it is given to you. So, if, uh, this can be expanded here in this place, where m equal to n t plus sigma. So, uh, to prove this, we just need to write here m dot equal to n differentiate this with respect to t. So, this will be n dot t plus sigma dot, where n equal to or n square equal to mu by a cube and therefore, 2 n dou n by dou a this can be written as minus mu by a to the power 4, 3 will come here. And this implies dou n by dou a, this quantity will be equal to minus 3 minus 3 by 2 and from this place, this will be n square. So, n by a. So, dou n by dou a is this quantity equal to minus 3 by 2 n a. Okay, and we have to bring it here in this form. So, in this m dot, the sigma dot is already known to us. So, we can insert this, but we have to replace the other quantities here also. So, m dot this becomes n from this equation. from a m dot equal to n plus n dot n dot is given here. So, n dot we can write as d n by d a times d a by d t okay, times t plus sigma and d n by d a Let us write this as dou n by dou n by dou a. So, dou n by dou a already we have written here. So, this is minus 3 by 2 n a times d a by d t t plus sigma dot. And sigma dot is the quantity which is available here. So, we can insert it later on, but we require uh, one more quantity to work with this is dou r by dou a. What appears here in this place, this quantity is actually worked for keeping the sigma constant. Okay. Once we have developed this, so at that time this implied that sigma dot equal to dou r by dou a sigma keeping constant. So, this quantity is nothing but dou r by first we differentiate with respect to a, but keeping m constant and then dou r by dou m and and dou m by dou a. And once we insert the values, so this will be dou r by dou a m minus dou r by dou m, this quantity, 
this quantity will be 3 by 2 n a t times uh, sorry this quantity we have written here do r by do m by do a because this will come here in this place do r by do m okay so if, uh, m already we are aware of this is n t so do m by do a this quantity will be do n by do a t and do n by do a already we have written 3 by 2 n a t. Okay. So, therefore, this quantity results here. So, this is n minus 3 by 2 n by a a dot t plus sigma dot. So, sigma dot we use from let us say this is b and this we have to prove. So, from there then uh, sigma dot if we insert, so this will be 1 minus E a square do r by do a sigma. So, th this we have to insert do r by do a sigma, this is let us say this is c. So, if we insert here, so sigma dot is then uh, We have written copied this quantity here. So, 1 minus e a square n a square dou r by d e 2 by n a and dou r by dou sigma is dou r by dou a m minus 3 by 2 n a t dou r by dou m. Also, we know that a dot is the quantity already we have derived. This quantity is minus 2 divided by n a dou r by dou m. This we have derived earlier in the perturbation equation while the Langrange planetary equation. So, in that we have derived this quantity. So, we insert that uh, n minus 3 by 2 n a and this is minus 2 by n a. So, this gets plus 2 n a dou r by dou m t plus 1 minus e a square and minus 3 by 2 n a t dou r by dou m. So, this is n a square a is here or a is also here and uh, this 2 by n a 3 by 2 oh, on this part we have missed out. So, let us write this space. So, 2 2 cancels out and this gets 3 n n will cancel out 3 by a square 3 by a square t dou r by dou m. And if we look here in this place, so here also the n n cancels out 2 2 cancels out and we get 3 by a and uh, the quantity t is missing here. So, we have to insert t also here in this place. Uh, so, t we have written here already. t is on the back. Okay. t is already here. So, overall this quantity and this quantity along with minus sign they are the same. So, they cancel out and then what we get n plus 1 minus e a square this term and this term and this is nothing but the term which is written here in this place. So, therefore, m dot equal to 
and this is your m dot. So, m dot is nothing but the quantity here. So, th this gets proved. This was perhaps the left out thing. So, I thought of covering it today. Okay. Now, we go to the main topic what we were discussing about. This was the perturbation due to the oblate planet and uh, in that context, uh, we have derived a few things. So, in that context, we have derived F r perturbation this equal to minus j n s square a cube r a square divided by r to the power 4 1 minus 3 sin s square u and sin s square i. But uh, how this term appeared here, this we have not discussed. Okay. So, this was part of our equation uh, which was written as minus j n a square a cube r e square divided by r to the power 4 1 minus 5 z square by r square plus 2 z r u z cap times u r cap, where u z cap is nothing but k cap u r cap we have to work out. Okay. Similarly, in the other equations some of the terms which appear. So, the terms like u z dot u r cap is here and similarly we get the term as earlier we have worked out in the last class. So, u theta cap this term is required and uh, one more term was required which was u z times u a cap. So, these are the three terms required and once we place them and also z by r this quantity. So, if we place in this kind of equation, so we get the result. So, in that context we, we are discussing that uh, we have the orbit here. Okay, so, this is x direction, y direction and z direction along this we have taken k cap and then we have considered uh, u r cap here in this direction perpendicular to this u theta cap and u a cap here in this direction where u a cap equal to u r cap cross u theta cap and this is your r vector from this place to this place. This angle we have taken as uh, u okay. inclination is here i this angle we have taken as capital omega. So, you can see that uh, for uh, getting the unit vector u a um, u r and u theta or u r u theta and u a uh, actually this uh, is looking like this here. The, from this place it may not be clear. So, I am writing here u r cap this is u theta cap and this is u a cap. So, this is 90 degree and this is also 90 degree this is also 90 degree. So, u r cross u theta cap equal to u a cap or maybe we can show it here in this direction. Okay, so, what we are interested in finding out the quantities which are written here. 
Okay. So, for doing that we need to find out each of the unit vectors here. So, these unit vectors u r cap, u theta cap and u a cap this can be arrived at by giving certain rotations. So, the first rotation we can give about this, this axis by uh, capital omega. So, your x axis will arrive here in this place. So, this will be x prime and y axis similarly it will go away from this place by uh, certain distance and let us say that as here y prime comes here which the, this angle from here to here will be then capital omega okay. and z prime re remains here in this place. Okay. The next rotation then we give about this x axis the new x axis by i and by doing so your uh, y prime will come to the y plane okay. if this uh, the plane of the orbit. So, it will rise from this place and it will come to this orbit. So, let us say that this I am representing by So, first rotation about the z axis, then the next rotation about this axis okay. and that we are giving by i. Okay. So, by doing so your I, the i vector is right now if the i vector is here. So, the once we move it, so corresponding this vector gets transferred here into this place. And from there, then it will go to the. Uh, so the x direction is here, y direction new here, z direction remains in the same place, rotating about this by i angle. Okay. So y goes to the plane of the orbit, and then in the plane of the orbit again. So once we rotate here, so this will also rotate from this place to this place by i angle. So this is your z double prime, and y double prime will come in the plane of the orbit. So, remember that by doing so your i remains here in this place. Okay. So, the first rotation what we have done we have given rotation by capital omega about the z axis. The second rotation then we are get giving by i about the x axis and the new x axis and the third rotation then we give about the new z axis means about this will give the rotation by u. So, if we give this rotation by u about the new z axis, so this will result in this series of rotation and if you operate on this the vector i cap, j cap, k cap, it will result in the vector u r cap, u theta cap and u a cap. So, either you can refer to my lecture on satellite attitude dynamics and controls for this kind of thing or either you can refer to the uh, fundamentals of astrodynamics, fundamentals, astrodynamics Mixed by David Valado. It, this book name is given in the references I have provided you, and once you do this, so uh, you get the u u r cap, u theta cap, and u a cap in terms of i cap, j cap, and k cap. So j cap is here along this direction, k cap is along this direction. Okay. So this relationship will be available to you. And how this are defined? So uh, I will just write here in this place. So this is the about the z axis. So this will appear as zero zero. Okay, and uh, I am not explaining how this matrix appears, but uh, you can take it for granted right now. Uh, otherwise, no way of doing it at this stage until unless I explain the whole process, and that will take time. Okay, so, refer to this uh, to my lecture uh, on attitude dynamics and control course. So, this is your 
R Z U. So, the, this is rotation here, this rotation R X we give, we write like this and uh, this is about by the angle I. So, this is cos I, cos I sin I minus sin I okay. and the first rotation that we have given is by about the z by capital omega. So, this is 1 0 0 0 0 cos capital omega cos capital omega sin capital omega and minus sin capital omega and multiply them and by multiplying let us say this you write this as the rotation matrix R t okay. and this will operate on i cap j cap and k cap and this will yield this value. So, this you can check yourself, uh, I have written it here. Uh, okay. Now, what we need to do, utilize this to solve the problem. So, I will write the equation directly here. So, this exercise you should do. So, multiply and check what I am going to write on the next page. Okay, so this term j has appeared in our derivation. So, this j value is defined like this for the earth, okay, where m is the mass of the earth and re perhaps we have written as a small re. So, this is the radius of the earth, radius of earth and we are going to utilize this value. This is the same thing. Okay. So, u r cap we can write as cos capital omega cos u minus sin capital omega sin u cos i times i cap. sin capital omega cos u plus cos capital omega sin u times cos i j cap k cap. So, if you utilize this okay, here in this place. So, to find out what will be the quantity u r dot cap u z cap this quantity. So, we just need to take the dot product u r cap dot k cap and immediately we see that this dot products will vanish because they are perpendicular to each other leaving us with sin i sin u times sin i. Okay. Beside this we need z by r. So, the quantity z is nothing but the component of the r vector in the k direction. So, this is k cap r times u r cap. Okay. So, that means r times u r cap dot k cap and already we have written here u r dot k cap. So, this becomes sin u sin i and therefore, z by r this quantity becomes sin u sin i. So, we are ready to work with this quantity is available and this quantity is available. Insert this here in this equation, okay, here in this part. z by r we require. So, we have to replace this and this quantity also we need to replace and therefore, if r f r then this gets reduced to minus j n square a q minus j n a n square a q n square a q times r e 
square r e square by r to the power 4 and then 1 minus 5 z square. So, 1 minus 5 z by r square, z by r square already we have derived here, this is sin u. So, this is sin square u, sin square i, this becomes ok. This, so, this quantity is addressed 2 times z by r, this is 2. So, plus 2 times z by r again, this is sin u, sin i and this multiplied by u z times u z cap times u r dot cap. So, the quantity is here. So, this becomes then sin a square sin a square. And once we solve this, so this quantity gets reduced to minus j n a square a cube r e a square divided by r to the power 4 1 minus 3 sin a square u sin a square i. And this is what we have written. So, the same way the other things can be worked out. Okay. So, here we have written the u r and uh, some exercise I will leave it for you. Okay, so, for the next one is our u theta cap. So, u theta cap similarly from this one, the second term if you pick up, you will get the u theta cap. So, we have to multiply the whole thing first and from there the second row you choose. So, that gives you u theta cap and this will turn out to be minus cos capital omega sin u sin capital omega cos u times cos i this is u theta cap. So, same way u theta cap what we require the quantities that we require is u theta cap times u z, u z cap. This will be u theta cap times k cap okay. and immediately we can see that this will result in cos u times sin i. So, use this in the equation for f theta that we have written earlier, this already we have derived all these equations. So, f theta due to the perturbation only this was written as minus j n square a cube two z by r u z cap times u theta cap. And once you replace z by r as we have derived here, this is uh, z by r. So, this gives z by r equal to sin u sin i. So, if you utilize this here in this place z by r and replace u z dot u theta from this place, you get the corresponding equation minus j n square a cube r e square r to the power 4 times 2. Uh, so, 2 can be absorbed and this can be written as sin a square i sin 2 u. So, sin u times cos u multiplied by this 2 that results in sin 2 u. You can check this part also. And at the last we have uh, f a perturbation this part was minus j n a square a cube r e a square divided by r to the power 4 
u a cap. So, we require this quantity So, u a cap this quantity is So, again this quantity will be available to you from the last row of this matrix. And once we would solve that matrix and write it, so this will appear as sin capital omega sin i times i cap minus cos capital omega sin i j cap plus cos i times k cap. And therefore, immediately we can see from this place that u a dot k cap this z is nothing but k cap. So, this results in cos i. So, all the things are available here and we can immediately write the result for this. Two times z by r, z by r sin u sin i, sin u sin i, and from here u z dot u a this is cos i. So this part we can sort it out, and this write as just sin two i, sin two i, and this two we can remove. Okay, so, uh, till this extent uh, we have worked out. Okay, so, uh, if we do little quickly, so we will be able to work it out. So, the capital omega dot this is r sin u f a this is the Langrange planetary equation we have got in terms of f r, f theta and f a. Okay. So, f a we can insert here in this place and once we insert the what we have derived on the last page. So, this will get re reduced to r e s square divided by r cube 1 minus c a square. So, insert the f a we have derived on the previous page and reduce it. So, th this is what we get. So, here u is changing because u we define as omega plus theta and R also ch change or it may change. So, these things they give rise to the variation in the short period variation whatever it is what we will do that first we are going to average it out to eliminate all the short period variation. Okay. So, omega capital dot then this can be written as after averaging. So, average it over a period, average over a period. So, let us write this first as d omega by d theta into d theta by d t, okay. where theta dot is the quantity from our earlier derivation h by r square, which is mu a times 1 minus c a square divided by r a square. Okay. So, this gives us d capital omega by d theta this will turn out to be if you insert all these values 
Okay. So, this can be reduced to minus 2 j r e square divided by or uh, let me work it out this particular part. So, that we do not commit any error here. Minus cos i times sin square u. minus e square and then this divided by theta dot. This is your capital omega dot, okay. this particular part and this will be divided by theta dot. So, we get the desired quantity of, uh, so theta dot is here. So, if we divide it, so this will be mu a times 1 minus e square under root and this multiplied by r square. Now, we will reduce this. So, this is minus 2 j n a r e square sin a square u r times mu a under root times 1 minus e square. Okay. Now, we have to do little bit of manipulation here. This is n a, this quantity, this quantity and in the denominator, we have mu a under root, mu a under root. So, this can be written as n equal to mu by a cube under root and this is a and this divided by mu under root times a, mu times a under root. So, what do we get from this place? This mu, this mu cancels out and a is in the numerator and below we get a square. So, this is 1 by a. So, this whole quantity, this part and this part we can replace as a. So, this becomes r a. Okay. And uh, this multiplied by 1 minus e square in the denominator. We have written 2 j r e square already and this is cos i sin square u. So, this is d capital omega by d theta r we can replace in terms of r equal to L by 1 plus e cos theta. So, this can be written as a times 1 minus e a square. So, if we replace, so this becomes a square times 1 minus e a square whole a square and this part will go in the numerator e cos theta. So, now if we And also one thing we should remember, let us further write it, minus 2 j r e square cos i divided by a square 1 minus c a square 
u is nothing but omega plus theta and then sin this is sin a square omega plus theta and 1 plus e cos theta 1 plus e cos theta. So, we integrate it over a average it over a period of time to get the what we are looking for we are looking for capital omega dot average by removing the short period variation there, there may be some periodic variation local. So, all those things will get eliminated. Okay. So, uh, the books the textbook the uh, I have referred to you. So, all of them will be not explaining these things but uh, maybe giving the final equation and working with that. Okay. So, for, for to look into the details of this you can refer to the book on celestial mechanics, celestial mechanics by W M smart by W M S M A R T smart. And also, uh, the already I have mentioned the introduction to the uh, fundamentals of astro astrodynamics by David Valado, that is also a very good book. And uh, my presentation and their presentation, it will differ little bit. I have adopted the vector method of working. Valado also, it is a vector method, but little bit it is a different. Okay. And uh, the way I have presented, it is a little different. But the basic I have given you. And based on this basic, once the Langridge planetary equation is available, only thing remains that that find out the perturbation function or the force function there, and use it and write the differential equation wherever required. You want to approximate and whatever the things to be done, it follows thereafter. Okay, so th those are details which cannot be covered in this course, but of course whatever has been possible, I have done here. So, this delta omega capital omega over a period then this will be given by minus 2 j r e square cos i times 1 minus c e square whole square integrate it 0 to 2 pi sin a square 1 plus e cos theta and d theta. And once integrated, this gives you delta capital omega 2j r e square cos i divided by a square 1 minus c a square whole square and then pi multiplied by pi. So, mean angular rate what this will be? So, delta capital omega every this is the average okay, divided by t which is the period and this is nothing but delta capital omega average divided by period is 2 pi a q by mu and this is nothing but 2 pi by n. So, this is 2 pi divided by n. So, n goes in the numerator. So, n by 2 pi times 2 j with minus sign r e square cos i a square 1 minus c a square whole square. So, whatever we can eliminate here, we will eliminate this pi, this pi cancels out, 2, 2 cancels out. Okay. Therefore, we get this delta omega dot which is the averaged one equal to minus j times n r e square cos i divided by a e square times 1 minus C e a square whole square. 
and this gives you the regression rate of the node. So, this is 0 uh, O and N, N prime the notation we have been using all along this is capital omega. The minus sign here it indicates that if I is less than 90 degree okay. I lies between 0 and 90 degree at once i equal to 90 degree you can see that the whole thing vanishes means there is no uh, variation in the uh, capital omega. Okay. So, if we have this situation where i lies between 0 and 90 degrees, so we can cos i then this will be greater than 0. And in this situation you can see that delta capital omega average this will be less than 0. That means, this is a regression. So, what does this mean? Okay, this we have to think of and this is very important for this particular result is very important for uh, our uh, sun synchronous satellite. Now, look into this picture sun is here okay. and earth is here in this place and around the earth one satellite is going on. Okay. So, the satellite orbit say it is oriented like this, this is the nodal line n and n prime o is somewhere here. So, all the time we have shown here like this, this is your the inertial axis along the vernal equinox which is x, y and z and then you have the orbit here where n this is n and this is n prime and this is o this angle is capital omega. So, this line is your uh, the nodal line okay, the vernal equinox I am not showing here. Now, consider the case of a satellite which is moving like this. So, here if you see the sunlight will be directly coming from this place. Now, a bigger picture I will draw here. So, this is the uh, earth and around this the satellite is going on. So, it can be shown again like this in another picture I will show the sun is here and sunlight is coming here from this place. Okay. So, if satellite is suppose here in this orbit it is a going going like this this perpendicular to the sunlight this angle is 90 degree and satellite orbit is like this if we see from the top. So, it will appear like this it is coming up here, here in this place coming up and it is a going down here in this place. So, in this kind of orbit you will see that all the time the sunlight will be available okay. and if you have the satellite antenna here. So, satellite antenna will always be illuminated okay. and if we are able to maintain this angle of 90 degree all the time with respect to the sun. So, here say what is the objective I will write this angle as beta this is the beta okay. and can we maintain this angle beta this is the question. Okay. If the node does not rotate okay, so it will remain parallel from this place to this place okay. if you go here in this place this is the subtle earth here and then the node will be appearing like this. Okay, if you go here in this place node again remains parallel it remains like this. So, this is the beta angle this is beta angle here this is your n uh, this this is n and uh, n prime we have shown here on this side 
n n prime. So, if, uh, this becomes beta angle, this is n, this is n prime ok and n prime to this line, this is your beta angle, this is n, n prime and n prime to this, this constitutes your beta angle ok. So, what we can see that if we look here in this picture, so here if the satellite antenna is there ok. So, this is getting illuminated, but suppose I have to do remote sensing. So, in the remote sensing work what we require that I have to take picture of the ground here ok. If it goes here on this side it will be taking picture of the ground here ok. Similarly, on the top it may be required to take the picture here ok. So, on the top of the earth means the earth is like this and over this the satellite is going like this and sun is illuminating from this place here the sun is located. So, you are the satellite is getting the illumination, but what happens to the ground? What what will happen at this place here in this place? Because the sunlight will be just grazing like this here ok. So, it cannot reach to this point ok. So, here this will be dark and if it is dark that means we cannot take photograph of this portion which I have shown by red. So, then the whole purpose is defeated ok. So, sun synchronous satellite it is a used for maintaining a particular angle with the sun that means, this angle we have to maintain this beta, this beta we have to maintain. So, that means, this nodal line should rotate. So, for keeping this here in this place my nodal line should rather come to this place. So, sun is moving and along with this the nodal line should also move. So, already we are getting here the equation that the nodal line is getting perturbed on an average like this, its angular rate is like this ok. So, can I make it equal to the and here there is a minus sign. So, therefore, this is also called nodal regression rate because there is a minus sign. If i is positive automatically delta of capital omega will be negative that means, instead of moving here in this direction it will move in the opposite direction ok. It will not go here in this direction if i is positive it will go here in this direction that means, beta will increase. But what we are interested in? We are interested in maintaining this beta angle. So, that sunlight is always available. Now, you see that instead of keeping this nodal line here n and n prime here in this place, I keep my nodal line instead of here in this place ok. And then this is my beta angle and this is n and this is n prime. So, you can immediately see that if my satellite is located here. So, the sunlight is available from this place and ground will be illuminated here in this place as shown by this blue color deep blue color. So, ground is getting illuminated by the sun and therefore, satellite can take picture satellite is here ok satellite can take picture ok. And there for this region this beta angle is maintained small. So, beta small it should be a small should be a small for remote sensing purpose if it is 90 degrees this is of no use because you cannot take photograph in these places this is the border line of the sunlight ok this what we call as the terminator line. So, there the picture cannot be taken ok. So, to maintain this particular beta what is required that instead of regression the nodal line should progress ok. It should not regress it should not go here in the back direction, but it should go along this direction because the sun is this is the sun here and earth is moving here in this direction. So, if earth is moving ok. 
So, to maintain with this line, to maintain angle with this line, which is the beta angle I am showing here, to maintain the same angle, I have to rotate this nodal line n n prime all the time, okay, so that it maintains a particular beta angle. And wherever this thing is available, we call this as the sun synchronous orbit. And this beta can be set to any value and if at the time of launch you whatever you uh, maintain this beta, so that the same beta can be maintained for all the time. But for that what is required? 